Hey, we're back. Week six picks. Ooh. Week right, six here, picks. Ooh. Um, yeah. Join our Pick'em League Weekly Insider. Free, completely, on the ESPN app. Link is in the top of the description. Go do all that fun stuff. Subscribe. Drop a like and share the video. And uh, now I won't bug you with that anymore. So let's hop right into it. Week six action. Thursday night game. We've got the Buccaneers at the Eagles. Tom Brady sprained a thumb, I think. So. Yeah. But expected to play. He's going to be all right. It's Brady. Yeah. He has an Android. They'll just replace it. <laughs> so, uh... Eagles coming off a big win against, um, sorry, say it again. Who would they beat? Panthers. Uh, Panthers, that's right. Panthers. Um, yeah, uh, I'm still going to go with the Bucks though, I think. They're yeah. just so dominant. I right want to know what Eagles defense I'm going to get this week. Is it the team that got <laughs> destroyed by Tyreek Hill and the Chiefs or the team that shut down the Falcons, shut down the 49ers for the most part, 17 points? Yeah. Um, and then basically shut, not basically had three or four turnovers against the Panthers, only gave up 18 points. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I th- yeah, I definitely think it. Miss. Yeah. Um, yeah, the pass rush isn't as great as it used to be, but I, th- I do like our defensive back group. But, ah, Buccaneers are just such a good team all around. Their secondary does suck, and Nick Sirianni is allergic to running the ball. I think Miles Carey, Miles Carey, Miles Sanders might have like 10 carries the last three weeks. It's it's just ridiculous. He might, have, he, he might barely break 20 the whole season. And every th- When he gets the ball, he's been productive. I'm looking it up real quick. Let's see what he's got. So, the last three games, he has 20, oh, 20 carries combined last three games. Wow. So, I mean, he's getting last week against KC. First nothing, game did pretty well. Two for 27. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's averaging probably four yards a carry right yeah. now, but he's, they're, just not, they're just not running the ball. I think Jalen Hurts is throwing it 150 times, or 160, 200 times, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. He had one game with 50 plus passing attempts. It's Jalen fucking Hurts. He's um, the best quarterback in the league. So, I'm already sick and tired of Nick Sirianni's offense. <laughs> So I'm going. You, I mean, oh, shit. we have such a good. The Eagles have such a good run blocking offensive line too. Uh, Lane Johnson, Big Mauler, Jason Kelsey, one of the best run blockers. Can you guys draft the, the running backs here? Third, yeah, third, third, fourth round. Cap yeah. Gainwell. They use him a lot. He's a. Sl- I know. He's, he's, he's a, slot, a solid. Yeah, slot he's a solid receiver. Scat slash, back. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I'm going with Tampa Bay. Yep. Eagles. Uh, Eagles defense has been really good this year. The offense even has the offense hasn't even been that bad. I don't know. I just don't care for the game script. Nope. Although I guess. Best the best best way to beat Tampa is by throwing because mm-hmm. they're insane against the run because their D line is really good and their secondary is very beat up. But yeah, I'm still gonna go with Tampa Bay here. All right, next game is actually a thriller. We've got a <laughs> it's a this is the London game, uh, Miami oh, yeah. Dolphins at Jacksonville Jaguars. Again, this is the marketing team of the NFL showing that they only send the best teams. Of Dude, the, the best. combined record of the teams in uh, London has been three and fifteen. <laughs> Dude. Solid, mint, mint. If you're in London, bro, I'm sorry. You're just getting the best of the best. That's pretty much what it is. Um, Jacksonville's getting their first win. I'm saying it right now. Is Tua back this week? I think he's eligible. doesn't matter to me. I think it does. It's a rib injury, dude. So? He's not going to be able to throw the balls. He's not going to be able to throw the ball efficiently. And Donovan McNabb won messes. a playoff game with broken ribs. Don, you're comparing Donovan McNabb and Tua Tonga Von Loa. <laughs> Tua get me a new uh, hip something. I, there was one I saw on Twitter. It was funny shit. But... No. Jacksonville Jaguars are winning their first game. I don't believe in the Miami Dolphins at all. I, I had high hopes for them. I thought they were a playoff contending team this year, but guess not. I was wrong. So I'm going to go with Miami because as much as, even though I've been ragging on their defense all year, this is the type of game where I think their defense can dominate because Washington, or not Washington, Jacksonville's one, their line isn't anything crazy. Two, the offense hasn't looked that great. And three, I think Urban Meyer's just a shit show. Um... <laughs> And I do think getting two back is honestly a big improvement just because it's you can't get much worse than they have been with Brissett. Yeah. Um, so at least two is better timing, better at more accuracy. Arm strength is pretty equivalent. Escape ability is pretty equivalent. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with the Dolphins here more because I just think the Jaguars need to honestly keep losing. <laughs> I saw okay. someone say their best idea. The best thing they could do might be sending Trevor Lawrence on a three-month vacation to Cabo and just saying, come back next year. <laughs> We're not going to risk you getting hurt this yeah, year. Yeah, 100%, We're just, dude. Fuck it this year. But, yeah. Um, next game is the Green Bay Packers at the Chicago Bears. I Bears think three and two. I think the Bears take this win. I, the Bears' I do. defense has looked good. The, their defense has been playing pretty well. They're, they're, helping, they're helping out Justin Fields' mediocre play right now. He's not playing great, but he's doing what he can to win the game, which you got to commend. And that Packers defense, it's iffy. Who there's? Oh, Bengals. Iffy. 
Yeah. I'm not too – I don't think that Packers defense is anything spectacular. So, I could see the Bears. I'm, I'm going with the Bears. I think the Bears are going to win this game. I think Justin Fields – at some point, Justin Fields is going to have a freaking solid game. He has – like – Yeah. He's going to pick it together. He's going to – again, he's a rookie. All the rookies have looked terrible. But he's got to – he's going to piece it together, and maybe – I think this might be the week. So, I'm going with the Bears. I'm going to go with the Packers just because I think yeah. their offense is so efficient. I don't oh, yeah, think, for sure. I don't – I think LaFleur is a good play caller. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers – who hasn't been crazy this year, but it's still Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Um, Devontae Adams, Robert Tanyans looks solid. Aaron Jones has had some big runs. Yeah, this is a divisional game. So, like, yeah. they usually play him tougher. So, so I'm going to go with the Packers here. Okay. I just don't trust this Bears offense. I mean, yeah, the Packers defense isn't great, but. Yeah. They did not have. Oh, no, he's in the. I think he's on the IR, so they won't have Jerry Alexander again. Nope, they so, they are missing Jerry Alexander and Zadarius Smith, their two best players. Oh, and Kevin King, right? Isn't that guy out? It's probably good. <laughs> That's, I know. Sucks, probably, I saw a meme. It was like um, uh, something about uh, Stefan Gilmore. We should sign Stefan Gilmore. Nah, we got Kevin King or yeah. something like that. There's three guarantees in life. <laughs> Death taxes and Kevin King getting burned. Oh, for sure. Um, all right, next game is the Bengals at the Lions. Man, I feel so bad for Campbell, bro. Yeah, I do like Campbell as a coach. I love Campbell. I but I'm going Bengals. I'm sorry. I, Joe Burrow's just playing, playing so spectacular. I love that guy. Yeah, Joe Burrow's playing really well. Jamar Chase is... The Bengals made the right oh. choice. I don't think you can argue that at this point. He is freaking I, amazing. I said going to the draft, I would probably take Sewell over Chase, but everybody was ragging on them once they took Jamar Chase, and I was like... He, I, I, like, I love Jamar Chase. I thought he was the best wide, college wide receiver, like, prospect at yeah. least for the NFL. Really good. That he'd seen since Julio. Dude. Like, he outran dudes. He was stronger than guys. He's 6'1", so he's not like he's undersized. He can run the deep ball. He's... Because he's so strong, he's Footwork good off the release. Footwork is great on the sideline. So, he, he, he had no drop issues in college. He had some in the preseason, which everyone was freaking out about. Everyone was like, ah, like, oh, he's, he's a bust. Yeah, it's like, but he, I mean, his point kind of makes sense. Like, you can't see the ball because there's not that white stripe on the tip like college has. Mm. So, he was just saying, like, because the ball's a little darker, it was just tough acclimating to it, which I've never heard before, but it kind of makes sense. You know what? And guess what? He's acclimated pretty yeah. damn well. <laughs> T. Higgins is back now. Boyd is still one of the best slot receivers in the league, even though he's not being yeah. used a ton with those guys in there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of after that loss. I think they throttle this. I think it might. It's going to be like a pretty big blowout, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I was going to say this in yesterday's episode, but I thought it was kind of funny that the two kickers that kept going back and forth missing were a rookie for the Bengals and then thirty-seven year old Mason Crosby. Complete opposite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. But anyways, yeah, I'm on with the Bengals this one. The Lions yeah. might have the. I really, I'm rooting for the Lions all the way. Lions I might have the Lions. worst roster in the league right now, Probably. honestly, especially with some of the injuries in the secondary on defense. <sighs> I just oh. and again I love Campbell. I really hope that like they get at least a dub or two, but it won't be this week against Bengals. I know, I'm trying to think. He might be because I think Aaron Myers is a shit show. I've said it many times. Um, I'm not. Oh, I know the Jets defense had a big game against Tennessee. Um, their secondary, their their secondary is just a shit show at least on paper. So I'm not gonna fault them too much for that. But I'm not too crazy about Robert Sala. Brandon Staley looks great for the Chargers. The defense is playing well. Um, his OC you don't like Salah, really? What? You don't like the Jets coach? I mean, I'm just saying I'm not like impressed by him necessarily mm-hmm. yet. Um, I mean, it's his first year too, so. No, I know. That's not, I'm just naming the rookie guys. Oh, and then Dan good. Campbell, the Lions have a terrible roster, but they've been in almost every Dude, single game. Dude, ga- their point differential is probably. Like, 49ers, they kind of got blown out, but they got lucky and ended up making a one possession. Um, pretty sure Packers might have. I can't remember if that was one possession Packers game, but it was close was, for a long time. It was. Oh, no, they got. They, it was, they were winning at halftime. And then they ended up getting yeah. kind of Ravens out. obviously game winning NFL record game winning field goal. <sighs> like that's a tough break. Uses a thirty seven second drive by Kirk Cousins of the Vikings. So they've been in almost every single game. Yeah. I forget who the other game was. They're 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 the a Ravens, scrappy team. They're no, a scrappy team. So. But um so I do like Dan Campbell, but obviously the talent is there on paper. Yeah. Um so yeah, I'm gonna go with the Bengals. Is there another rookie killer? Oh yeah. David Coley for the Texans is doing pretty well too. Okay. Um speaking of Texans, Texans. Um Texans at the Colts. Both teams are one and four. Is Tyrod gonna be back? He'll Tyrod be eligible. might not be back. I think he's no. He's, it said he's still not gonna return. Ah, okay. I just know he's eligible because it's been three weeks. No, yeah. He said uh, isn't comfortable returning or something like that. Yeah, not ready. Not ready to return. So hmm. Tyrod Taylor's still out. Um, but I, I'm going to Colts well, here, man. Yeah. Uh, after that tough loss against the uh, Ravens. <laughs> we expect. <laughs> Again, we're recording this on Monday, so yeah. so if we're right, we're right. But like, hey. After that tough loss to the, the shit, Ravens. even if it's a win, I'm definitely taking the Colts. I'm still taking the Colts. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's funny. Um, but yeah. yeah, shout out to the Colts. Um, they're gonna beat the Texans. Yep. 
So, yeah, that's pretty easy. Someone made the point, although I saw someone saying that the Texans taking Davis Mills in the third round was – because it was their first pick of that draft. Um, but they, it was saying, like, that was basically just throwing away a pick because you know your team's going to be bad and you're going to be taking a quarterback, like, top five next year. So what's the point? The class sucks next year, bro. I mean, From what I've seen so far, I feel like there's not much. You never know, though. There's, always, there's hardly ever no, I know. a complete quarterback class fails. Like, sometimes it happens, like, um, the E.J. Manuel, Jake Locker that <sighs> year. Um, joke. But actually, I think Russell Wilson came from that class. No way. I think so. E.J. Manuel? I think. No I way. I remember. They're not the same age. No shot. Russell's like 31, dude. Yeah, 31. Uh, yeah. He's so, E.J. Uh, Manuel was like 2012 yeah, or so. Maybe he was, yeah. But anyways, right, okay, keep going. Um, so I saw someone saying that was just kind of throwing away pick. But at the same time, like, if you like a guy, I don't know, like maybe see some upside there. It's never a bad shot to take a flyer on a quarterback, especially. I mean, Gardner Minshew six round pick, Tom Brady six round pick, not on the same level there, but yeah. Minshew's a solid. Now nah, they're the same, bro. <laughs> um, they basically are. Just one had Bill Belichick, the other had uh, I don't even remember the Jaguars coach last year. I think it is the same draft class. Wow. Um, what the fuck are the Bills but, doing, bro? So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Colts, but I, did, I didn't hate the idea of taking Davis Mills because, fuck, if Davis Mills works out, now you have a top five pick to do whatever you want with. So, I didn't agree with that take, but I kind of get their point. Okay. Because they likely are taking quarterback this year. Next game, is that I I don't even know what to think of this one. It's Rams at the Giants. Likely without, well, definitely without Saquon. No potentially Saquon. Potentially without Galladay. Potentially without no Sterling Shepard. Daniel Dimes. Maybe. It's concussion, so you never know. Yeah, it's true. Teddy Bridgewater came back, so. Trey, 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 Trey Sermon came back. I don't know if he's ever had one before. Wait, you didn't say anything about Tony, right? He'll be he's playing. Yeah, he'll probably okay. he'll probably play. It's questionable, no, he, but he's playing. No, it was just a precautionary uh, X ray. I would say so. Galladay, Slayton, and Shepard could all, all be out. I don't know for sure about Galladay. Actually, I'm not sure about any. No, Galladay's out because they all could be returning. Yeah, but I I think they're all pretty pretty questionable, like highly questionable. It's not just like oh he's banged up a little, but yeah. yeah I'm going with the Rams, man. Uh, Giants are kind of crumbling right now. Saquon Barkley with a very unfortunate ankle roll. Nothing. It really wasn't anything serious. It just it's it sucks that it yeah. happened. Like, and dude, the def- first quarter, man. Like the defense hasn't like lost anybody that I can think of that's a big name, and they're still not that good of a defense. Yeah. Like I feel like Bradbury's been playing really well. I said it a couple weeks ago. Like but. Joe Judge, I thought was a great coach last year, and I thought he was going to kind of be like an up and coming coach. I thought they made some nice moves. I didn't care for the Giants this year, but I thought they would still still take a step forward. Yeah. But they're one and four. Defense doesn't look great. They're losing games. Who's their one win? Because they lost to the Falcons. Giants, they beat the um. Lost to Washington. Was- no, they beat Washington. They lost twenty on twenty eight. Holy shit! Oh my god, who did they win against? So I don't know who their one win was, but um, I don't know. I'm I'm starting to lose some confidence in Joe Judge. But yeah, the Rams. The Rams are obviously the clear favorite this game. Wow, I really gotta find that out. It's really bothering me. I feel like it was in like week three. Shit, it wasn't against the Falcons. Yeah, they lost the Falcons, Washington. Brother, did they win their first week? No. no. G men. Oh, they beat the Saints. That's right in overtime. Oh, okay. oh, oh, that's right. Shit. They had to come back in overtime. <laughs> so. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too big on Joe Judge at this point. Yeah. But so, obviously, you don't give up on him yet. Only year two. Going the Rams. Yeah, definitely okay. going the Rams by far. Next game, this is a bounce back week for the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs versus Washington Redskins. I'm going with the Chiefs. They got to figure something out, and if they're going to do it against any team, it's going to be the Washington Redskins, who have been a complete letdown this year. Um, although they will be missing Ch, potentially Ty, uh, Tyree Kill. Yeah. And um, their entire defense. Basically, their whole defense. Yeah. Their defense is non-existent. I just can't wait for this 45 to 35 shootout it's between be awesome. Holmes and Hyde. I just really hope. Tyreek Hill's in there for me. The Chiefs um, were expected to have a bad defense and have had a worse defense than anyone expected. And yep. Washington was expected to have a top Amazing three defense, defense and have had one of the worst defenses in the league somehow. Yep. Um, you know that I think Kansas City's defense is ranked last. They've allowed the most points, I think. Probably. Per game. The defense sucks. It's unbelievable. It's I will unreal. say they were missing um, Chris Jones. They're, they're definitely the best yeah, player on defense. Dude. And Tavares Ward, the number one corner. I can't remember who I, but, I was. I was watching on ESPN. Someone was saying their defense is soft. And it, I, when you watch back against the Buffalo game, they were, like, scared to hit everybody. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, you watch Josh Allen run, mm-hmm. and they just kind of, like, step in front of him and let him slide. They yeah. don't, like, try to hit him. Like, hit the hit the quarterback's run, and you're fucking hitting him. Yeah. As much as I love the Bills, obviously, but, like, I would say the same about anybody. If a quarterback's trying to get yards, you hit him. Yeah. If they're obviously mid-slide, don't fucking hit him. But, 
you're trying to win the game. You got to be gritty. You got to be mm-hmm. tough. You got to punch your teeth in. Yeah. <laughs> like that. That's what you got to do in football. And they're they just when you watch Kansas City play defense, they're playing like really off. Yeah. Like it's weird. I don't know. I I I, and I like that isn't point. Playing great either. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's still. I know uh, there was that sat. He's already thrown the same amount of interceptions this year as he has last year, or as he did last year. Yeah. But I will say, I remember there was like some stat that last year he led the league, or you know. He led the league in, like, turnover-worthy plays that didn't go for turnovers. So, like, just crazy throws that should have been picked off that were, like, dropped or mm. something wild happened. Um, he had, like, 14 of them that should have been turnovers that didn't end up being turnovers, which led the league in this year. Very lucky. This yeah. year, the luck is switched. Mm. Um, yeah. So, I, I don't know how to calculate that, but, I mean. Next, gen, next gen stats. Next gen stats. But either way, he, this year he's not, he doesn't have the same luck with these drop picks. Okay. So, we're both going KC, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, next game we got Vikings at the Carolina Panthers. Panthers defense is still solid. I really think they're they're good. They just had like a little hiccup against the Eagles. Um, not even. I mean, they the still defense. They played well. Their no, offense actually. Only gave up twenty one. Had three turnovers and a blo- and they had a block punt, which I think led to the game winning. So, um, so that's right, how the, so yeah, that's how I mean, the defense. No, is the Carolina fault. offense didn't look very good either. No, um, or didn't look that good. Yeah. Um, but Man, I think Vikings. I am going with the Vikings, bro. They. Have had some really bad luck this year. But they, they had to scrape it out against Detroit. Yeah, like, it was literally bad, got lucky. Bro. Thirty-seven I, seconds. Listen, Kirk Cousins has been play, the first three good. weeks. He no, was no, good. he was good I know. early. First three weeks, unreal, unreal, mm-hmm. playing super well. Mm-hmm. And then these last two weeks has sucked. Yeah, he's got. He's gonna bounce back. Yeah. I think Chris Cousins. Kirk Cousins is a solid receiver. He has great weapons. Solid, solid offensive solid line. Quarterback, you mean? You said he was a solid receiver. You no. said Kirk Cousins is a solid. Oh, receiver. did I? Whatever. Um, solid quarterback has great weapons. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be a bounce back game for them, and I get, and I think it's going to be a good one because it's going to be against a tough defense to really. I think like Kirk Cousins is going to have to show that he can still play. Like people are already like looking at it like, um, oh he's he's, he's exactly what we thought. Kirk Cousins is trash. Like okay, he's not that bad. Um, I'm going with the Vikings in this one. I'm going to go with the Panthers. Um, the defense is definitely better than the Vikings defense. Um, oh yeah, and then you could argue most of positions on offense. The Viking or the Panthers are better. Wide receiver, probably that probably the Vikings. But DJ Moore, I don't think he's that far Ooh, behind actually, at all. Christian McCaffrey might be back. That's what I was gonna say. Week, McCaffrey bro. might be back. So will Cook probably. But Shit. either way, um, DJ Moore, I don't think um, DJ Moore honestly might be on the same. I'm switching. Justin I'm switching, bro. If CMC plays, he's back. I'm going. With I, th- I think they said he's probably gonna be. Back. No, he's gonna be back. They were there was questions about last week. Too. Yeah, he was the potential that he was gonna be back. Yeah, that's why they didn't put him on the IR. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe I'm I'm switching up here, but uh, bounce back week for the Panthers. <laughs> bounce. Yeah, literally. Okay, with CMC back, that changes the whole damn narrative, bro. Like that, you're getting the most explosive player in the NFL back. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna go with Panthers then. Actually, I'm switch it up. Oh, that's right. I forgot Tyreek Hill died. Oof. You said most explosive player in the league. Well, he's not playing. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. whatever. You know what I mean. This guy's the be- best out of the backfield for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, good. So you're well, going, yeah, I'm going with the Panthers well. okay. as well. All right, then uh, next game, we got the Chargers at the Ravens, both 4-1 and one teams. Likely, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's so Man, funny. the next two games are really good. So, uh, two 4-1 and one teams. Uh, we got the Chargers at the Ravens. I'm going with the Chargers. Herbert looks unstoppable. That offense has been firing all cylinders. The defense hasn't looked bad. Going with them. This is going to be a really good game, though. I'm very excited for this one. This is a, oh, it's a 1 o'clock game. What the hell? Yeah, it's a good game. Oof. Man, I feel like Chargers line is starting to click. Eckler's been getting more and more yards, more touches. Um, I don't think they've been giving up a ton of pressures. I think last week Miles Garrett had a couple sacks, but it's Miles Garrett, um, who I think pretty much solidified himself as the second best player, second best defensive player in the league. Um, I think he's a, better, he's a better pass rusher right now than TJ Watt. He's just un, unstoppable. You have yeah. to double team him. Um, Dude went sleepless for one game. I mean, he's on. Yeah, he's on start. He right, went so. sleepless for one game. Got drug tested. <laughs> it's so funny. Bro. Um, so the Chargers Alliance put it together. I, I think I said first episode when they lost, or first or second episode when they were struggling a little bit early, that the offense was probably going to take some time to get things going because it was a new coordinator, still young quarterback, and the O line was I think five new starters, um, or four new starters. Yeah. Laga staying at right tackle. But. They're obviously starting to put things together. 47 points against the Browns defense. He was playing phenomenal all year. Um, Wait. What was that stat? What did you say? They put up 47 against the Browns defense. Who was playing phenomenal. Talking about the Chargers. Yeah. What? 
Did I switch something in there? Yeah, we're on the... Oh, wait, we are talking about the Chargers. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking I, about? Well, I'm looking at the next game, and you were just talking about the Browns, so it was kind of confused. It was, oh, because they It was played. throwing me off, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I do like Lamar, I do like Wiggins, <laughs> but I think the Chargers... Chargers defense, though, is kind of scaring me. They just gave up, granted, the Browns have a great O-line, great running back duo, but they just gave up, like, 220, 250 rushing yards to the Browns. Well, the whole Browns. game had, there was, like, a, they had 1,000 yards. Yeah. It was, like, 1,038 yards or something. It was so, ridiculous. you allow the Ravens to run like that, I feel like their defense can't be as bad as the Browns was, even though I think the Browns defense has more talent. Uh, but Jim Harbaugh is one of the best coaches in the league and has been, or John Harbaugh has been one of the best coaches in the league for a decade now. But all that being said, I'm probably going to go with the Chargers here, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Ravens win this game by controlling the clock and yeah. may probably... No, this is, I mean, dude, it's literally it's on the game, on yeah. the app, it's 51 to 49%. Yeah. Like, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. Lamar's game. playing great. I will yeah, say. Lamar's playing amazing. He's not putting up crazy numbers, but he's not making hardly any... First week, I think he had two or three fumbles. Yeah, he's not really turning but it he over. he hasn't made any mistakes since. His decision-making has been really good, so... He's been accurate, and Marquise Brown's finally getting open deep. Yeah. And he's made, making... Catches except for against Detroit, where he dropped three. I think of I them. dropped three touchdown passes. But then last week makes a diving catch in the end zone. Yeah, that was really nice. So, all right, next game, let's go. We got the Cardinals at the Browns. So this is where I was speaking. I was yeah. thinking of the Browns when we was talking about it. Um, wow, it's funny. I'm going with the Cardinals. I'm putting that out there, I'm going with the Cardinals. They're going six and zero. But if there's a game that the Browns are going to win, it's going to be this one. I mean, they've already won three. Listen, but I'm saying like they've lost two, two uh, tight ones two to tight the ones, yeah. Chiefs and the. Chargers. Yeah. So. Against again, really good teams. So this is a good test. I think if the Browns can win this game, they're still, they're still really good playoff contenders. Um, I mean, Even I still think lose. they are. Huh? Even if they lose three of their, their no, I know that's what I'm saying. Teams. They're all top. Yeah, they're all potential super kind teams. of a collapse against the Chiefs. So well, Chiefs back yeah. and forth with the Chargers. Yeah. And then obviously if they lose to the Cardinals, I'm gonna go with the Browns again. Hell yeah. I don't know. I just really like the roster. I'm very surprised at how much they struggled last week against the Chargers on defense. Um, just because, like I said, their defense has been playing great the first four weeks. Um, they weren't great against the Chiefs, but, I mean, I think they gave up 30, which, again, isn't great, but it's the Chiefs. They mm-hmm. usually put up a lot of points. But, so, I don't know. I think defense will bounce back. I don't know. The Cardinals are 5-0, and but and they've been scoring a ton. Their offense has been unstoppable. But it, just something to me just doesn't seem like – they're like a legit top team, even though they definitely are playing like one. I, I don't know. Their offensive line is good, not great. Their defense has been playing good, but not great. So, I don't know. I think I'm just a little lower on the Cardinals, and I shouldn't be. But I'm going to stick with the Browns in this one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, next game is uh, two teams that have come down back to earth. Um, the Raiders and the Broncos both lost two back-to-back games. One thing I want to mention uh, that I, want, that I was going to say after the last game. I think I said one of the first episodes, Zach Taylor, Cliff Kingsbury, and Mike McCarthy are all on the hot seat. Um, I think all three are probably off the hot seat now. <laughs> Bengals 3-2. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the losses, that one. Did they lose to the Vikings? No, they beat the Vikings in overtime. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cardinals 5-0, and oh, and then Cowboys 4-1. and one. So I'd say all three of them are probably off the hot seat at this point. Yeah. So <laughs> Cowboys are really Definitely good. was a good call by me on those three. Okay. To be um, honest, you guys. <laughs> uh, again, two teams that have come back down to earth. Started 3-0. and oh, Both were very hot. Um, but now they have both lost two in a row. Uh, yeah. Raiders at the Broncos. Um, I am actually going to go with the Broncos here. I think their defense is a little better than the Raiders. And I think Teddy Bridgewater with more oh, another weeks of rest. Is, Not rest, is, is but... Is Judy coming back? No. Damn, dude. Week seven, I think. Seven he, or eight. Because right, I just know he's eligible to come back now. That's why I keep asking. Oh, yeah. He's seven or eight, I think. Aiming for mid to late August. Or October, I mean. Yeah, so, like... Seven or eight, week seven or eight. Yeah, week um, six to eight. It says that was five days ago. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't see him come back this week yet. And even if he does, he won't be a hundred percent. So it'd be stupid to play him. Um, but yeah, I'm going with the yeah, Broncos I here. Say week seven, I think Teddy Bridgewater's been really. He's been really playing well, honestly. All things considered, he had like a little concussion scare last week, so that's whatever. But he'll be. He'll have another week of rest. He'll be back. I think ready to win some more football games, and it's gonna be against a divisional team and i'm going to the broncos yeah dude uh the wild part about this raiders team now is that i'll be obviously beginning of the year a, pretty, a lot of people have pretty low expectations for them mainly because of their defense yeah um and then the first three games the offense is playing great Derek card like 1200 yards with three games and defense <laughs> is playing really well too mm-hmm. but the last two games the defense is still playing well but the, the offense, offense is only i think Derek card is 350 passing yards the last two games total yeah um so 
oddly enough, it's when the offense has been letting them down. Oh, man. In Denver. This is a tough game. Yeah, I will say, they definitely they, they suck at drafting. They already moved Alex Leatherwood from right tackle to right guard, which means they spent a first-round pick on a right guard that sucked at tackle. Um, which, and, and again, nothing wrong with spending a first-round pick on an offensive lineman as long as he's good like Quentin Nelson was. Um, granted, he was fourth overall. But, yeah. I mean, everyone thought Leatherwood was a bad pick at the time. Looking like a bad pick. Damon Arnett, their first round pick from a year or two ago, looks terrible. Henry Roggs looks, he's fine, but he's probably the third receiver on that team at this point behind Brian Edwards and uh, Hunter Renfro. Granted, he's because the purpose he serves is just kind of that deep. Oh, dude, Renfro's all over the place. um, Yeah, Raiders continue to be one of the worst drafting teams, but I do like Green as a coach. But, ah, man, you took the Broncos? Mm hmm. I'll just go with the Raiders in this one just to be different because I really do not know about the Yeah, this is, is a toss-up. This, this is actually kind of wild that the Raiders are 70% to 30. Yeah. But, hey, man. Uh, I've got more faith in the Broncos than most people, I guess. Yeah. Um, all right, next game. Uh, we got the Cowboys at the Patriots. Cowboys, man. Yeah. Zeke looks good. Mm-hmm. Dak looks really good. The weapon, all the weapons that the Cowboys have. Their defense has been playing pretty well. Not saying they're amazing, but they've been playing pretty decently. For the nth time today, is uh, Gallup coming back this week? No. So again, I just know all these guys because with it being now a three-week return for the IR because all the COVID stuff they had last year, he will not be back week five. Well, this was week five. Oh yeah, so it needs to be updated. So he could be back next week. I don't know. Who knows. It's not like Cedric Wilson's Either way, back, I don't so. think having Gallup there makes it like a ma- like a huge Gallup's spike. Gallup's top like forty receivers. I mean, so. it doesn't matter. I'm still going with the Cowboys anyway. Oh yeah, that's true. So I was just curious. Um, yeah, no, I, I thought Mac Jones would kind of open things up for the Patriots' offense, but I don't know. Their offensive line hasn't been as dominating as I thought it would have been. I think they have a couple guys out though. Um, the wide receiver it's, group's clearly an issue. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Cowboys in this one as well. Their defense, I saw they forced two or more turnovers in like nine straight games, which is the second longest streak since like 2000. Since the Legion of Boom? I don't, I don't know if they... I don't know. But nine straight games with two turnovers. It's pretty impressive, actually. Five of those are five Trayvon straight games. Trayvon Diggs. <laughs> Last week did it by himself. Is it Trayvon or Trevon? I don't think it fucking matters. Who cares? All right, Diggs. Stephon Diggs' little brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's no, what I'm he is. Mad disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm Cowboys... Just you guys a dog, I love him. I don't know. I said, I said like in the off season, the Cowboys were one team I wouldn't want to play in the playoffs just because that offense can put up fifty any week. Oh yeah, bro. Um, but if this defense is not, not, they're not, I don't think they're anything crazy. But if they keep forcing turnovers like this and giving your offense a ball back, yep. you're not gonna, you can't, you can only stop this offense so many times. Um, so Cowboys give up thirty points, but if they're getting two or three turnovers a game, yeah. it's just more time for their offense to, more chances for their offense. Okay. So, um, next game is our Sunday night game. It's the Seahawks at the Steelers. <laughs> Is Geno Smith the better quarterback in this game? I think he might be, though. Uh, yeah, I am. No. I was thinking about going with the Seahawks, but I'm man, just Steelers, dude. I know I am. Seahawks. Too. I don't think people know that Russ is out. Fifty-six percent yeah, pick the Seahawks. Know. I Big Ben kind of looked all right. Kinda... That, like that defensive for Seahawks is not good. Yeah, no. Geno Smith looked all right when he came in, but I mean. Geno Smith. I'm expecting Najee Harris and Deontay Johnson to literally. But Najee Harris honestly could have 150 yards this game. He might, bro. He's gonna have 150 yards with 10 receptions in. Madison maybe. had like 170 against them. Yeah, bro. They're granted. They're oh, the line's a little better. Najee Harris is literally gonna have 48 fantasy points. That's <laughs> my bold prediction. It's not even. I don't even I think it's that bold. bold. Yeah, dude, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm going with the Steelers. As much as their team's not that great, um, I don't see the Seahawks winning, especially with Geno Smith. But hey, man, I hope that Geno Smith proves me wrong. Yeah, and the Steelers' defense has been good, but it hasn't been, like, crazy. Um, I think, I mean, T.J. Watt was out for a little bit. I think Cam Hayward might have been out for a little bit. I think Alawalu's been out a lot. Tewitt missed a couple early games, so they just had some guys out. Um, but if they get that front seven he- if they get that front seven healthy, um, they'll be a dominant defense again. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they get there. That offense really only needs to be putting up 20 to 25. So as long as they can do that, they'll be fine. Plus, like I said, it's Chino Smith. I'm not going to trust him this week. If he puts up a good game this week, then I'll trust him next week. Yeah. But I've got no reason to trust him right now. So. Okay. Monday night game. Monday night, baby. We got the Buffalo Bills at the Tennessee Titans. It doesn't matter where they're playing. Buffalo all the way. Buffalo. Yeah, the defense for Buffalo has been really good this year. Oh, yeah. Top five. Yeah, have they been? Yeah, they've been oh, two shutouts. Oh, easily. I mean, two but, shutouts against Jacoby Rissant and Davis Mills. Okay, so. but they've only allowed 11 points a game. Oh. Well, it's good they have two shutouts. 
They get to exactly. back up quarterbacks. Okay. It doesn't matter. And Still now a pro another. team. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, uh, Buffalo's been looking unreal, man. No, they have. That offense is insane. That defense is playing fantastic. Defense a lot better well. than expectations because we went into the season thinking we're like, it's like a mid-tier defense. Yeah. But, man, they are firing on all cylinders, man. That D-line, it's actually awesome because they they always, have like eight dudes it. that were rotating in. They're always fresh. They are yeah. always getting pressure on the, the – I, I didn't understand – I think I said that I know I said this before in, in one of these videos, but I didn't understand Probably why people did not time. like Greg Russo. Yeah, I think I said it when we were predicting our rookie of the years. Yeah, yeah. I didn't understand what people had against Greg Russo. It was like, oh, he's so raw, like he doesn't have great technique. It was like, yeah, dude, he played one year as his freshman year. Dude was eighteen, he put up nineteen and a half tackles for loss, like sixteen sacks. <laughs> Sorry, his technique as an eighteen year old wasn't great. Yeah, I know. Like he can be improved. Look at Josh Allen when he came into the league. Terrible. I mean, so He's, he's playing well. He's not anything crazy, but he's still only 2021, 20, so he shouldn't be. Um, Epinesa it was a good pick, nothing crazy. And Jerry Hughes, like you said, they have a rotation. Still, it's like Mario Addison. The Epinesa pick is like a relief. Like Right, yeah. Comes in, he's still a good, solid he, body. First like, round or second round? He was second round. He was second round, yeah. Um, Out of Iowa, I think. So, yeah, and then Ed Oliver's not playing great. Never lived up to the expectations I yeah, had. Yeah, he, uh, but he's but looked he's a little better. better this year, for sure, yeah. Well, I else? think he's been, fi- I feel like he was fighting injury or something. I don't know. But. I don't know. I'm a fake Bills fan, apparently. So. <laughs> but no, the offense. The offense looks really good. Defense. I mean, McDermott. I wasn't. I was. I was last year. I think was just a. Um, oh, what's it called? Like an odd one off. Oh, in that playoff game. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like overall, when the defense was. Oh great yeah, last yeah, year. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because McDermott had always had a great defense. First few years he was in the league. Yeah. Even with Carolina, when he was there as a DC, it was a good defense. Um, and then now we're kind of seeing it come back. So I yes, think last sir. year was kind of a oddball. Yeah, man. Buffalo looks insane. Yeah. Yeah, you're on Buffalo, I'm assuming. Yeah, I thought I said that. Okay. Well, oh, I don't know. We were just talking about like the Bills how they've been looking. Yeah, and then Tennessee Titans. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, get, I mean Derrick Henry. Who knows? Like if he pops off, but I just feel like again that Bills defense is playing amazing. So to all the to all the people telling me Ryan Tannehill was a top eight quarterback coming into the year, where are, where'd you go? Yeah, where's he at? Where's that top eight quarterback you talked about? Yeah, because he's, top eight, he's top looking eight like top twenty five maybe. Top eight quarterbacks don't disappear just because their offensive coordinator left. <laughs> So, oh, shit. That guy's poop. No, he's not. I mean, Tannehill's not, not bad. bad. He's a system quarterback. He just, I don't know what's going on. They've also had a lot of injuries. He's a solid quarterback, but he's, yeah. he's in the range with. Mid tier. He's in the range with Derek Carr and. Baker Mayfield. Uh, yeah, big, honestly, Baker Mayfield and. Baker Mayfield's uh, been playing like shit this year. And Kirk Cousins. It's like a guy that he'll have his games, but he'll have his bad games. Mm-hmm. I agree. And his bad games are I, bad. It's not like Mahomes is bad where he has 300 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. I agree bad. 100%. Um, so, yeah, top eight, my ass. <laughs> Sorry, the best, or not the best, one of the best offense coordinators in the league, Derek, and Derek Henry's teams went eight in the box every oh game, God, bro. and ninety percent of his yards are coming off play action. Dude, when so, you got Derek Henry in team though, I feel like you can do anything with that play action. Yeah. So. So yeah, uh, that concludes week six picks. I had to say it. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy some football. Um, crack crack one open for me, and enjoy your football weekend. And if you haven't. Joined our Pick'em League. Join it now. It's completely free. Top of the description. See you there. And we'll see you guys next week, Wednesday and Thursday. Two episodes a week. Don't forget to hit subscribe and drop a like. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Love you. Peace.